Oh, wow. Well, a trail across the country sounds really nice. I'm not sure if a day like this is suitable, right, right. with the storms coming our way. Yeah, definitely possibly. with this being a holiday weekend, a lot of folks outdoors enjoying recreational activities. Gears we want you to pay attention. Just wrapped up. Yeah. yeah, pay attention to the skies, a little thunder. If you hear yeah. that, make sure you're getting indoors. We do have some thunderstorms that are rolling through right now. So if you're on the water, for sure you want to get away from that. Uh, take a look out there. We've had plenty of sunshine across the region, so it's been a pretty nice afternoon, with the exception of the clouds building and some storms moving into the triad busy day there blues lake celebrating the holiday weekend our weather impact continues up until about 11 o'clock tonight and it is for severe thunderstorms the scattered storms moving into the area right now we do have some warnings up for surrey points north and west damaging winds is the main threat may see some hail too we also have a tornado risk in our westernmost communities and that heavy rain could cause some flooding so we've got a severe thunderstorm watch that is out for the entire area until 11 o'clock a severe thunderstorm warning until 7 30 does include surrey county parts of stokes and up into patrick and then we now have a flash flood warning that has just been issued for too much rain in Allegheny, Ash, as well as Surrey County. You can see those storms kind of training right along the same areas where you've already seen some one to two inches of rain, and we're likely going to see another inch or more. So that's why they've issued that flash flood warning. This one also has the potential to have some strong, if not potentially damaging winds with it. Moving over Highway 52 right now and into Mount Airy, there's your flash flood warning zone. That is up until after midnight, almost 1 a.m. from Sparta to to devotion rain rates in here are some two to three inches of rain in an hour's time. So we've already seen an inch like I mentioned, and we could see another one to two inches of rain with these storms moving across the same areas. And you see the storms extend back toward Jefferson. Quite a bit of lightning with these over the last 10 15 minutes across the area. The rest of the area is pretty quiet right now, but we do have that slight risk zone even into the Piedmont Triad as we go into the nighttime hours. So damaging wind is the main threat. You see it there showing up in bright yellow. Westernmost communities, there is at least a chance we could see some rotating storms. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Heavy rain and lightning, that's the high threat. And then the medium threat is damaging winds across our area. Notice that the severe weather situation is far worse out to our west. And the storms that are moving into our area right now causing those warnings, they have a history of producing down trees and power lines with wind damage across Kentucky as well as central Tennessee. Severe thunderstorm watches also all the way down into South Carolina. You see some of the warnings showing up there in orange as that line is moving into our region. So as we go through the evening between now and about 11 o'clock, we have this window that any of the storms that do roll through could be severe with the potential for damaging winds, hail, as well as possibly an isolated tornado in the west. I think things will quiet down toward 10, 11 o'clock in our area, but there's another line of storms that's set to come out of Tennessee and Kentucky should weaken as it moves into the mountains by daybreak tomorrow, but we're going to keep a close eye on that as as well. You see the tornado threat that is out from Memphis all the way up to about St. Louis, and they are in that moderate range for severe weather. That does move east tomorrow, so Memorial Day could also be stormy, but you notice that the risk is a little bit lower in our area, so we're under that slight risk. That includes North Carolina, South Carolina, as well as Virginia. So we'll start off tomorrow morning with maybe some clouds, perhaps a little isolated thunder and some rain. I think there's an opportunity for part of the day to be fairly okay. Partly cloudy skies. Watch those clouds building. I don't anticipate a lot of storminess tomorrow. Not like everybody's going to see storms. Problem is the ones that do pop up could be severe. So we're going to keep a close eye on that as we do have a chance for even isolated tornadoes in the forecast for tomorrow. So there's your seven day forecast. Highs will be warm. It'll be muggy in the low 80s tomorrow. And then we will have a reward this week. Less humid air returns and some sunshine for several days ahead. You're watching WXII 12 Sports.